Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Aquarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys in the comments. As well, uh, Aquarius, I would like to ask if you do find some cards that resonate with you and you enjoy this reading, really appreciate it. If you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot channel a lot and I am super appreciative of it. When you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Um, as well, Aquarius, when it comes to my weekly readings, be sure to align your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Um, I believe my weekly readings here are just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought. Um, as you go throughout your week, of course, but never making the decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, and not these cards either. But with all that being said, Aquarius, let's get into your weekly reading. So I pulled some cards, Aquarius, just to see, get an idea of the journey that you guys are currently on right now, so I can get an idea of what's happening for y'all. Right now, you guys have the Dreamer card, Archangel Metatron, coming in for you guys, which would be normally Aquarius the Fool. So, in this card, it says, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, and unexpected opportunities, right? And it's paired nicely with the Page of Fire. News of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity. I don't know if, um, if I'm pronouncing that word properly. Uh, so, together here, you guys are being presented with some type of opportunity, or there's something that you are being offered to put more energy into, right? There's something that you, especially with the wands card, both the dreamer and the fire card, well, fire is wands, by the way, um, Aquarius and the dreamer card would be the fool card or normal tarot, but both, so both of these cards are heavily into passion, heavy, heavily into ambition, heavily just with like, what's what's going on in here right what's driving you and so uh with this um it does speak about creative um pursuits right uh aquarius and then looking at your other two cards you have more wands or fire energy with the six of fire and the five of fire now the six of fire talks about good news is on the way public recognition um or awards right and then your other card is the Five of Fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So, overall good cards. This Five of Fire is an interesting card to have, though, just because it's kind of like the uh, heavy weight in the room compared to everything else being pretty light and pretty passion-filled, right, Aquarius? So there does seem to be, like, a lot of good and then just, like, one heavy weight just dropped in here. Um, to spice things up and kind of like put you in for a loop, probably Aquarius. So let's get some clarification on all this. What does this uh, Dreamer card and this Page of Fire look like for you? Because here's the thing, with that Page of Fire and that uh, Dreamer card, this is really just showing to me just something of uh, Aquarius that I don't know if, if it's being offered to you or this is something that you like are coming into if that makes sense Aquarius I don't know if this this is just like your own personal thing or what so your clarifiers that we have going on for this is the ten of pentacles with the two of cups and then the page of cups so really leaning into this energy of um I mean, this is definitely, I'm going to just, for my Aquariuses that are resonating with this on a social situation, I'm just going to touch on it lightly. Um, Page of Cups and the Two of Cups, this is definitely new person energy, uh, new intimate energy, truly, where it's just like a really good connection uh, coming to hand that would be extremely stable. Uh, someone that I would say definitely... 
if there is like a new person that like has been sparking your interest and has been like the main focus point of your life as recently i would say really recently aquarius in like the last month uh coming into your life i really do see a lot more progression happening um in this connection uh there's definitely some type of some type of depth here i'm not gonna use like the trigger words like soulmate twin flame and all that because it's impossible for me to get that from some tarot cards right but whatever it is there is a deep connection here with this person right there is some depth here potential with this right going back into the original message though um aquarius with this i do i mean with cups being the representation of opportunities it's really having speaking such in such high regard uh, Aquarius of some type of opportunity that you are kind of like looking in the doorway of right now you're kind of investigating it Aquarius and you're just like eh, is this right for me should I be doing this or whatever I mean in this type of setup Aquarius this is really good cards to have where it's just like absolutely really lean into it more because it's going to bring forth a lot of stability in your life a lot of finances right because pentacles regards uh is the representation of money as well um, but overall just like stability as well ten of, or ten of pentacles is a card of where it's just like a happy home life uh you can trust the people you're around you you feel good around these people right and so whichever way you turn it it just is like um a really beautiful setup so far for you Aquarius where it's just a lot of stability coming in here a lot of stability a lot of potential for something big is something that I'm getting Aquarius and with the six of fire I kind of feel like this kind of self-explanatory card I don't feel like we need to pull any uh detail cards on this right I mean the card itself it just says victory this is the card of victory card of spotlight public recognition for my Aquariuses that are trying to get out there um I feel like but again we have this five of fire here this is the conflict this is like the weight that like it's just like a lot of good here but this is the but um of this situation so let's see what uh information we can get with this five of fire for you aquarius what is going on here that has you just like uh in this place where you are like holding back in some way it feels so clarifiers we have page of wands with the eight of pentacles and then the three of swords for you aquarius in this type of setup it's one of those things where it feels like aquarius you feel like you're not ready yet and there's like this fear of being stepping up to the plate almost with this here so it's just very much so um what is the word for i always say it. imposter syndrome very heavy imposter syndrome here aquarius i say this because it's just like it's pain associated with this eight of pentacles where it's just like oh i'm not sure if i can handle this i don't know if i've learned enough to be uh, up for this challenge again right for some of you it's again uh, aquarius where it's just like you tried doing this once before maybe you fell flat on your face before and then that kind of scarred you right it's kind of like someone that rode a bike and then they fell off that bike or they fell off that horse and then it just ever since then they've been scarred about getting back on that bike or getting back on that horse because then they just started obsessing being like uh oh, did i learn from my mistake did i do enough research and am i even talented enough or whatever you know whatever storyline whatever whatever it is you decide to feed yourself right aquarius there is just like this you getting in your head and with this page of wands here like you really want this but you just are so afraid of repeating the same cycles or repeating that same mistake that you're seeing it as so that's probably why you are just kind of standing at the doorway aquarius and you're just like uh eh, um this sounds good but yeah there's just like this um, the, like this fear of just taking action which sucks so now aquarius let's i'm trying to find the proper deck let's get into what is going to be coming for you this week what is in the works this week for you aquarius hmm. good card to have the unity card archangel sandalphon number five in numerology so write that down so with the Archangel Sandalphon card, I'll read it. This card says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organization, seeking out mentors and like-minded friends. So this is definitely another push 
uh, heavy much so into the uh, social um, situation for my Aquarius. It's really speaking heavily on some, it does feel like some type of person plays a pretty heavy role in your life this week. Aquarius. I'm not sure how they're attached, whether it's romantic or platonic. It could be like a work situation thing here, but there's definitely some other energy here that's being very present in your reading, right? So the clarifiers that we have going on for your unity card, we have the king of swords with the devil card, balanced out with the sun card, best card in the deck, and then the emperor card, Aquarius. So, breaking this down, what's in the works for you this week, especially with that unity card, hmm, I almost get Aquarius, you're, you're catching on to something, well not catching on to something, it's almost just like, you're doing like a cleansing of some sort when it comes to um what's been stressing you out what's been giving you anxiety this king of swords and this devil card it's like you're really evaluating and just being like all right um is this stressing me out you know this here's the thing i want to be careful on how i'm wording this right because i know it can come off as where it's like um speaking about it in people right but this very much so could easily be this sense of um yourself even maybe for some of you guys because it's like you feel like you're not enough Aquarius and whatever that aspect is then you become extra critical of yourself and you're just like all right well since I feel like I'm not talented enough I need to cut out any free time that I had for myself and just put it straight up to just practicing right um there's this sense of like imbalance here uh when you have this because the king of air or the king of swords normally is a card of um extreme mental mastery and just having a really good head on your shoulders and then the devil card comes in on the other side of your shoulders where it just kind of this is that inner saboteur where it starts feeding doubt into you and you start getting in your head um about things so mm. and the thing is aquarius with the sun card and the emperor card i get the sense here that it's just i feel like you're just adding more structure into your life which Again, it's not a bad thing, but I feel like, I mean, this is just my Libra uh, sense coming in, Aquarius, so take this as you will. But there is just like a nice balance that you can have, you know, it's very much so just reminds me of someone that decides to uh, go on a diet or decides to lose weight and then they just do a bunch of dramatic changes all at once without there being like an adjustment period or anything like that. And then they the diet only started where they convinced themselves that they need to like lose weight, for example, because they told themselves they have body dysmorphia on me, and they tell themselves and they make or they make themselves think that they're not attractive enough or they're and that they need to be at a certain weight if they're going to be deemed whatever good enough to hand be up to the task here, right? There's just some type of like inner insecurity that I feel is going on. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be inner, right? I just am assuming with this devil card. I don't like villainizing um, people, right? So it's just like, I'll always see this devil card as being like your own inner ego, right? Um, and plus I'm not seeing other people really necessarily attached to this. Um, reading so far Aquarius but with the Sun card and the Emperor card um, here I do get this sense here where it's just like yeah you end up challenging yourself but it is on the path like it does get you results so hmm. I guess I just want to say Aquarius just make sure that you're coming at things at a balanced place don't be too harsh on yourself don't be too critical on yourself Acknowledge yourself as the human being that you are. Yes, you do need some free time, right? You can't just dedicate all your life to, I mean, technically, I guess you could dedicate all your life to practicing, but, you know, don't set yourself up to fail. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with this progression, right? You are going to find the right people for you. Whenever the Archangel and Sandalphon steps forward, Archangel Sandalphon is that Archangel I always associate with being like, all right, he's he's around right now that means there's someone in your path someone on my path is going to be presented to me someone that's going to be part of my path and part of my journey for some point for some amount of time it's going to start walking with me soon and that's when i keep my head up and start paying attention right so that is something i want to just suggest to uh my aquarius is that that resonates with but um now let's look at 
the journey to come for my Aquarius? What is the journey to come for them right now? Let's see here. All right, so King of Air following you. This is King of Swords. This card says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So we already talked about with that King of Swords a little bit, so I kind of just want to jump into some clarifying cards, uh, if you don't mind, Aquarius, for this. But um, to have this as your future card, it shows to me that you get... You don't stay in your head for too long. But I mean, I guess we, the clarifiers will tell us right away, right? If you still are maintaining in your head in the future here. Yeah. So let's look at these clarifiers. You have the King of Honey, this is following you, Aquarius. The King of Swords for the third time coming in for you. The Devil card following you. Oh my God. And then the Fool card follow, not following you, but the Fool card. Did you get the Fool card before, honey? You did get the full card before, and it's the Dreamer card. So you had this twice. You had a lot of things following you this week, Aquarius. I mean, y'all y'all already know this because you're watching this video this far in, but definitely gonna be putting something like that in the title for y'all's videos, something following you. Um, yeah, King of, King of Air being clarified by the King of Swords, the Devil card, and then the Fool card. So yeah, this is just essentially a simple message of where it's like you break free from this uh, imposter syndrome. So for my Aquariuses that have feel like they've been in a flunk for a while, because I do feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you feel like you've been in a funk, um, uh, you're going to be coming out of it really soon. Uh, this devil card is definitely going to be... Um, handled in some way and i feel i see this sense of once you handle it get a get a good handle on this this is when the fool card comes in where you finally just allow yourself the experience you finally allow yourself to fully walk through that doorway aquarius rather than just standing at the doorway peering around being like oh is it okay you finally trust yourself and say realize that you are completely up for the task uh you stop being as hard on yourself but yeah, I, I guess there's no technically a but in this Aquarius. Again, I just want to really emphasize that just don't be too hard on yourself. When you have the King of Swords coming in so often, right? I love the King of Swords personally, but it is kind of concerning to me, Aquarius, of where it's just like, I feel like someone's just being extremely critical of themselves, I guess, Aquarius, and I just don't want that to be happening to you. I mean, it is your energy, right? Uh, you are air energy, right? And the King of Swords is air energy. But um, yeah, I just don't want you to be too hard on yourself. I feel like that's going to be like um, pretty hard to reach through to some of you Aquariuses, especially if you have been just extremely in your head and just like feeling like you've been in a funk recently because I, I get it Aquarius it's very hard to take yourself out of it once you get in there but um you gotta just remind yourself to like don't just treat like your own perspective as the reality especially if you are just extremely critical on yourself don't set yourself up to fail um it's just something that I want to say I'm pulling some final uh, oracle cards for you to close out this reading for you Aquarius if you're wondering what I'm doing here maybe pulling two more cards for you to uh, oracle card animal okay honey two animal oracle cards for y'all let's see here just give me one more I'll do this one all right we'll start with your animal oracle cards aquarius we have the kiwi card do a walking meditation for the next week paired with the tortoise card you're too fragmented so do whatever it takes to get grounded so yeah don't be too hard on yourself aquarius take this time the moment you start sensing yourself spiraling or starting to get in your head aquarius or you start feeding energy into a negative narrative honey take a moment to just go outside and just reset right because if you don't catch yourself in these mental spirals i can see that just being like a toxic loop for you um, you know, whenever you start having that devil in your ear whispering to you, putting that self-doubt into you, go outside and reset, right? I feel like that's really going to be the biggest thing for you to set, you up, to set yourself up for success, Aquarius. Um, and then your moon oracle cards this week. We have the full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches, paired, to the thor paired with the third quarter moon adjustments are required in this situation, Aquarius. So... Hmm. 
I do, well, let's pull like some final cards on this actually, Aquarius, because this is, this is kind of vague in that message, isn't it? And you have the strength card popping up. Dare I say, Aquarius, I know this is not going to be the most pleasant thing to hear. Um, so take this as you will, honey, right? I'm not about to be sugarcoating my readings now. But um, I do get this sense of there's going to be some type of... And some of you guys may have already gone through it, right? There is definitely going to be some type of challenge heading in towards you guys. I do feel like it's setting up to be some type of distress in some type of like your friend circle or in your family almost there's some type of distrust not distrust distress uh going to be occurring in here and that's going to be really challenging you and how you handle this situation um aquarius so just be on the lookout for that be prepared to really um yeah just really be challenged but don't fall victim to it you can definitely handle it right you know, just be aware that something definitely seems to be, I know that sounds like such an ominous message and I kind of hate that we're ending on this, but um, yeah, just be on the lookout, right? Uh, don't be surprised if uh, you kind of have to catch yourself, find yourself being like the mediator between you and like two people that you care about or even yourself. Maybe there might be a little bit of um, something that happens just in like your close circle that you have to be like the strong one for somebody. I just get something that there's, there's some type of challenge coming in towards you that's going to be coming in and like challenging like your inner circle. Um, but you can completely handle it, um, Aquarius. So don't worry about that. Um, I'm really not getting, I really am truth. And I would tell you any <laughs> Aquarius, I'm really not getting that heavy of an energy. I just get the sense of just like some type of challenge coming in for your inner circle. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you for this week. If you enjoyed this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aquarius, I do your weekly I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, uh, send them their zodiac sign video, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them, Aquarius. But until next time, I love you so much.